Good morning and welcome to Sparks. You know, the same God who gave us the Ten Commandments, such as do not commit adultery, do not murder, etc., also gave us the commandment, do not worry. It is a violation of our relationship to God to question His authority by worrying. Has any good ever come out of worrying that you've ever known? For me, probably not. Most of what we worry about never actually happens. Worry only makes us unable to do what we set out to do. I mean, if you're worried about a problem, what you need to do is to simply trust God and do good. But leave the worrying to Him. The word worry comes from the word, the Greek word, which means divide. So when you worry, you actually divide your energies. You divide your mind. So do you worry? I worry about you if you don't worry, because most of us worry normally. All of us worry. But Jesus says, do not worry. When we worry about a situation, the problem gets the, the problem gets inside of us instead of us triumphing over it. Jesus is not afraid of the things that cause us fear, so we should not be either. He never said, don't bring your fears to me, I'm too busy. He, instead, he said, I'm not afraid of the things that, that cause you fear, bring them to me. If you are anxious, bring it to me. If you are weary, bring it to me. So I want to encourage you today, whatever situation you're facing, don't worry. Worry is a sin. Because it means you're doubting. Just give it to the Lord and get on with the things of God. That's the recipe for an incredibly fruitful and victorious life in Christ. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.